Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. If this is your first time coming to my channel, thank you for coming by. Much love and many blessings to you and welcome. If you are a returning sub, thank you for stopping by again and showing your support. I hope everybody's doing blessed and good on this sensational Saturday. I know I'm doing good. I'm starting to feel listening to reggae therapy with Bob at 432 hertz. I got my little glass of wine. Mm -hmm. It's like, shoot, ain't nothing wrong with that. I usually have me a glass of wine once a week. So, and I'm feeling so mellow and so good because it has been a crazy week. You know, I said I was not going to make any more videos until probably about Sunday night or Monday. But sitting up here listening to some people comments and stuff like that got me all inspired and y'all got me all up in my good foot. <coughs> okay. <laughs> so anyways, you know, I got to be a little silly every one, once in a while when I'm in my videos. Anyways, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Oh, before I do that, please like and subscribe. Please hit that notification button so you know when I'm about to upload my next video, okay? All right, but anyways, all right, get to the straight stuff, uh, serious stuff from the silly. But anyways, my video today is about Twin Flame 101, knowing when your spirit guides are talking to you, trying to communicate. Um, it, it was just like, I, I asked my spirit guides, can you please, uh, Send me a sign on, you know, what I need to do next. What is my next mission? Because I feel like, you know, I'm talking about things and it's, you know, making me heal and make me feel like a better person and make me feel good in my spirit and good in my vibes. And that's how you're supposed to be. You do not have time. Life is too dead for short. You just sit up here and be angry because there's sometimes there's things that get on my nerves because it doesn't take much for me. And it's just, you'll see it all in my face. I'm like, you know. Why are you working my last? No, go away. You know, vibes just be all over the place. But anyways, we just knowing when your when when your spirit guides are contacting you, they can contact you through so many so many different ways, through songs, through you know um, times like a certain time that you might be. You know, you think about something. It might be a date that comes up next. You know, you might see it on a you know, see it on the TV or see it on, you know, the clock or see it on a license plate. That's all it is. It's just your spirit guys trying to get in contact with you and obviously they got something to tell you. And they're trying to lead you to be in a better place. So it's just the fact is, it's like, you know, there's a lot of times it's like things never happen by coincidence. Things never happen by accident. They can contact you through songs. They can contact you through other people, like my girl Simone. Girl, I love you. So much love to you because it's just like I told the last video I said I was gonna go ahead and try to talk to y'all about Monday or Tuesday. Reading her her messages just inspired me, inspired me so much. And it's just like girl, you almost brought tears to my eyes. I'm like, ah <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, but you had me running across the room. I was like, oh, this girl gonna have me in tears. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. But anyways, just so much love to you, baby girl. Just so much love. But yes, and it's just like, you must just like that because I asked for a sign. What do I need to talk about? And it's just like, you need to listen to your inner thoughts. You need to listen to your intuition. When you feel like there's sometimes you get angry because you might be late for an appointment. And there might have been, you might have got down that road and it could have been a, a big head-on collision. You could have got caught up in that traffic. You would have never made it anyway. So just think there's some times that things happen like a blessing in the sky. So it's just like sometimes I, I, I used to get frustrated. Like, why am I in this situation? Why am I feeling this way? But just to know that has made me... My tra tragedy became a blessing to me. 
even though I didn't get a chance to meet my father, it, it, it's just like, no matter how you try to separate a physical, how you try to segregate it, no matter how much, is, much is the, if that love is that strong, it will always be there, no matter who tries to take it away. It, it's not going to be, it's not going it, to, it's not going to matter. And it's just like, that's what I try to send out in my videos, try to positive vibe, like Bob is saying, everything is going to be all right. We are going to be all right. We just got to learn how to love each other more. We got to learn how to love love ourselves more. First, we got to start with ourselves first. You got to heal from the inside out before you can go ahead and touch somebody else to help somebody, you know, heal. And it's just like right now, I'm just being special, I guess, because I'm healing while I'm trying to send the love out at the same time because it's a good feeling to know when I can look back on life and just see how hurt I was and angry I used to be and it's just like I have my moments sometimes you know it's just a lot of times when I see my family and friends they're in a bad mood I try to act goofy like hey come on now we ain't gonna be like that mm -mm. come on let's rise we're gonna rise above this we're not gonna let no don't let no people bring you out your character don't sit up here and let them you know um make you feel make you feel like you don't have a purpose you know don't make nobody stop you from doing what you're doing and it's just like today i thought i was going to take a rest and i was like nope get up you got a video you need to make and this is your sign that you might be sending out for somebody else like no you say your affirmations you do what you need to do yes i say on them affirmations i say about three four or five times a day as many times i'm like okay if I feel some type of way and I'm all excited, that's the best time to do it. Make sure you say them in your conviction. Make sure you believe, okay, I, I you know, you want this 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 interview that, that'll have you with a nice 401k and a nice vacation stat or whatever. You know, you go ahead and keep you say that affirmation or you want to be a better person so you can be able to reach, you know, that promotion or whatever to where you can be able to get the nicer things in life and stuff like that. Just make sure you, you ask for, don't ask, like, if you want to date somebody and it's that certain person, don't, don't ask for stuff like that. You ask for, you know, let me be a better person so I can get a relationship I deserve. Because that may be, that might not be the right person for you. Because you might be praying for something and that might be God trying to tell you, no, it's not the person for you. So you go the other way. <laughs> So maybe just like I, you know, if I'm, you know, going through some stuff, and I might uh, wonder, is this the right person for me? I don't pray to say, you know, I said send me signs, or if this person's right for me, or whatever like that. Um, let me be a better person, so I know this, if this is gonna be the relationship I deserve, or you know, let us be humble or whatever, be, you know, something, you know, just. Just don't be specific or whatever, unless you actually know whatever, this is the right, right relationship for you. But it's just, we get so many signs. They can be somebody you can meet out of the blue. Like I, I had one time at my job and somebody said something to me and it really just touched my heart and just brought me into tears. And I was like, oh my God, this is so unprofessional. And I'm like, no, that, you know, maybe this is something that you needed to hear today. And then it's just like, you know what? And I just looked up and there's sometimes you, you when you have blessings like that and things like that happen you know you gotta look up and say thank you and you have to be very grateful for the little things you get as well as the big things you get and it's just sometimes it's hard to do sometimes because we just be complaining it's like you know what y'all yeah, were all right about that but what about this you like girl if you just do not be grateful about this we'll worry about this part later <laughs> so you got to be grateful about every little last thing you have even though it might be something so petty or so little just be grateful for it because when you start appreciating the little things in life that's when god will stay up here and say you know what it's it's time for this one to be plucked it's time for this one to get what they've been wanting for however long when you can start being grateful for the things that you actually have in front of you and not wishing for the things that you have. Because sometimes we, as individuals, um, you know, individuals, we always want more, you know. And it's just like you strive for it and strive for it, but we're not actually being grateful for the things that we have around us that we take for granted every day. Because it's just like I see people that, you know, uh, have went to war or whatever, and they 
might have lost a limb or something like that and we might complain about you know oh i gotta go walk down the street or whatever and there's sometimes i'm not gonna lie i'm guilty of doing that and it's just like this person will probably look at me and probably want to smack me it's just like you know what you are lucky you actually got two feet to be able to to walk up that street now i might have to struggle and go through therapy and this this and this and that we need to be grateful for the things that we have and it's just like when when the spirits are telling you you know the spirit guides are talking to you and you start seeing them numbers and them synchronicities please start looking them up and look and see what they they, they might be telling you something they're trying to reach out to you it's just like they are they are with us 24 7 24 7 and and it's just like we have free will they cannot help or intervene unless we specifically ask because it's just like there's sometimes there there could be some a situation or a person that might just really get up under your skin or you just get real really irritated i always call the to archangel michael or ariel or hariel and Raphael and stuff like that and just ask them please can you play replace one thing with the other just just to put me in a better balance you know because we all need to be balanced out because it's just like right now the world is chaotic and it's just 11 11 and I'm glad I was talking about some good thoughts when that happened <laughs> so I'm not trying to keep you guys out and about or busy on this computer today or whatever you were looking at me on and i hope you have a blessed week and things are going to get better whatever you are going to going through just realize things are going to get better we are going through these things to make up to make us stronger believe us there is things we are going through even it might be jacked up i cannot explain it don't ask me why but it might be something that might strengthen us later on down the road it might serve a purpose later on down the road so you know i never question the things that happen when they happen and much prayers to the people in texas and louisiana whoever else is going through these storms i'm sorry i don't watch the news i just you know i just get stuff from the news feeds and stuff like that because i don't watch tv so i keep my many prayers on the people that are affected by these storms that's going on with people that are homeless if there's some people that are out there that are in safe land that you can be able to help somebody out in these places please if you can help out if you can please don't lock them out like you know I ain't gonna get in that, but you know. but anyways, if you can help out, if you can, that would be greatly appreciated. And much love and many blessings to you, and I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild. Oh.